Ruta Bay, President Biden's priorities this week really come down to four C's, climate change, COVID, and confirmations. You can imagine, cli uh, imagine climate change a major issue here in Miami. Many people call this the epicenter of sea level rise, but with all of those priorities come some Republican pushback. Priority number one for President Biden's first full week in office is the COVID pandemic, according to the White House. A goal of 100 million shots in the first 100 days and turning around what has been a very slow vaccine rollout across the country. The process to distribute the vaccine, particularly outside of nursing homes and hospitals, out into the community as a whole, did not really exist when we came into the White House. COVID stimulus talks are also ongoing. The White House had a call with 16 senators over the weekend, eight Democrats and eight Republicans. They wouldn't say who was on the call, but say the goals of their $1.9 trillion plan include another payment of $1,400 directly to Americans. We want it to be a bipartisan effort. Effort. Um, that is what, the, as, as you guys know, Joe Biden, President Biden, all his life, he's, he's really, at least in his career, worked with the other side. But some Republicans say Democrats are slowing down the process by putting non-COVID related items like raising the minimum wage into the bill. If you're going to talk about an emergency operation, why would you then include and demand that that be a part of it? I think that's just looking for a way not to get some things done that might very well have to be done in the next couple of weeks. The issue of climate change is also on this week's agenda. President Biden's special climate envoy, John Kerry, spoke at the U.S. conference of mayors yesterday. New energy economy that we have to create all over the world is not a choice between having a good job now and not in the future. It's not a choice between comforts disappearing and you either have the environment or the economy. And all of you understand that. It is the economy. It is the future. But some Republicans say re-entering the Paris Agreement will compromise America's energy independence. The cost to our country, to our economy, to, to, to jobs, and to regions like West Texas uh, would be tremendous. Also this week, hearings continue for Biden cabinet nominees like Janet Yellen for Treasury Secretary, Pete Buttigieg as Transportation Secretary, and Alejandro Mayorkas as Homeland Security Secretary. Only two cabinet nominees have been confirmed so far, General Lloyd Austin as Secretary of Defense and Avril Haines as National Intelligence Director. And the cabinet confirmations are taking longer than they have uh, with other presidents, and the process could be delayed even more because of an impeachment trial in the Senate. Live in Miami, Brian Enton, News Nation.